Hey guys, how you feeling? Good? You get some rest yesterday? Good. I hope you're all rested up and full of piss and vinegar and ready for tonight. Before I get into anything, Joe, listen to me, Joe. Frazier absolutely destroys Morton, who is starting for the Astros, okay? Why not drop him into the two-hole behind Gotti? Why the fuck not, Joe? Think about it. And can we play some small ball? A bunt? Not only is a cake, you fucking stubborn guinea, you. All right, boys. We're home in the Bronx. And we have the ghost of the Yankees swirling all around the locker room and on the field and in the hallways. They had to cross the street to come over here to the new place because the geniuses knocked down the fucking cathedral of sports. But that's okay. No, no, no. That's okay. It's all good. Now I could look at first base and say, hey, look, that's where Lou Gehrig stood. He was across the street waiting for the fucking trolley. Oh, look, that's where Teixeira pulled his left hibiscus. Mind-boggling. Fenway's still going, Wrigley's still going. Nice. Now we got the plastic replica with the fucking corporate jerk-offs behind home plate on their phones waving. <laughs> totally forgetting about the working man, the blue collar. That's why I'm here. I'm their fucking voice. Anyway. My mother-in-law called me this morning. She says, hey, stupid doll. Taking the Yankees to win tonight. I said, Ma, is it a lock? And she said, the only two things you got to do in life, you got to die and, and, and pay Texas. I said, Texas? It's a big state. She said, sure, sure, eh, whatever. So go to my bookie.aj, put in the promo code, capital V-I-C, and bet the Yankees to win tonight. Just fucking do it if you like to bet, okay? What do you want from me? Where's Cockhole? Cockhole, where are you? Have you been working with the offense to make better contact? I don't want to see a fucking strikeout cha-cha line all night. You understand? Rothschild, is CC ready? Do me a favor. See if he can try to, if he can get, try to get CC into the sixth inning. That would be really helpful. Anything more than that is gravy or sauce, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Offense. Here we are. The defining moment in the series, as far as I'm concerned. I'd love to see you guys come out all loose and funky and seeing the ball and swinging with authority. Let's run this Morton prick early. We seem to hammer him pretty good. Let's fuck him up so bad that, that he turns into salt on the mound. See what I did there? Morton, salt. Now? Just pick the ones you like, guys. I don't give a fuck. Some of these I do just for me, okay? Guys, think, think, think. One game. One game only. One inning at a time. One pitch at a time, whether you're at the plate or in the field. And remember, it doesn't matter what the score is at any time. Baseball doesn't run out of a clock, okay? You can hit and score into infinity if you want. So no pressure. Go swing smart and free, but swing to do damage. But damage isn't just home runs, gentlemen. Damage is a bunch of hits and smart at-bats strung together. So we have the cha-cha line gulping around the bases, which is demoralizing to the other team. A home run is nice, don't get me wrong, but wrapping hits all over the field is brutal and exhausting for a pitcher, a manager, and a defense. Instead of five hits and 13 strikeouts, let's have 13 hits and five strikeouts. Let's bunt. Small ball. Bunt against the shift. Surprise me. Shock me, Joe. CC, go out there and focus and pitch with purpose, just like you've been doing. You be the wily veteran who happens to be really tall and fat. Gaudy, gaudy. Show these kids leadership. 
hustle and keep them thinking on every pitch. Judge, Judgey Wudgy, Sanchez. If you want to start hitting tonight, I'm okay with that. Frazier, be the spark plug. Keep everything chatty and electric. Boys, again, we don't have to win tonight. So go win tonight. Fuck it. Go get loose. Let's meet on the field in two hours, okay? Be Yankees. Just be Yankees.